Hello, my dear students. I am Flora Ma'am, and today I'm going to teach you English literature, chapter five, the Golden Bird. Dear students, please watch my explanation and do all the exercise given below. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Listen to your parents. Okay. Thank you. Introduction. Pride has a downfall. We should never be proud or show off with the things we have. We should be kind and humble. This is a story of a proud bird who thinks that she is the most beautiful creature on this earth. There was once a king who had a golden bird in a golden cage. Every day, someone in the palace gave her food and water and groomed her fine yellow feathers. And each day, the bird sang for the king. So, once there was a king who had a golden bird. Children, you have seen many birds flying around. But the king had a golden bird and the golden bird was kept in a golden cage. So every day the servants would give it to eat, give it to drink, okay, and take care of it. Each day the bird used to sing for the king. So the bird was a golden bird and was kept in the cage and the bird used to sing for the king. But as time passed, the king began to feel sorry for the bird. It's not right, he thought, to hold a bird in a cage. So he told his men to set her free. So as the time passed, the king felt sorry for the bird. Children, we are not supposed to catch the bird and put them in the cage. They are supposed to be free. So the king felt sorry for the bird and he told the servant to set the bird free. The men took the cage deep into the forest, set it down opened the door and went away. So the men, the king's men, took the cage to the forest, opened, left the for, uh, cage in the forest and opened the door and they went away. So they set the bird free. The golden bird hopped out. She looked around her. She was hungry. Now the bird was set free. So the bird was hopping around in the forest. And because she didn't know where to go, where to get water, where to get food, because she was staying in the palace, in the golden cage. So now she is set free, so she doesn't know where to go. So she's looking here, there, and she was very hungry. After a while, she saw a monkey swinging from a tree. Hello there, said the monkey. Who are you? Now, when the bird was hopping around in the forest, a monkey saw the bird and the monkey came to the bird and told the bird, Hello, who are you? The bird tossed her head and said, I'm the golden bird. Now she started moving her head and very proudly the bird told the monkey that I am the golden bird. I can see you're new to the forest, said the monkey. Do you want to see the best places to feed? Now the monkey told the bird that you are new to this forest. You don't know anything about the forest. 
So, do you want to see where you'll get the best food in the forest? What can a monkey teach me? replied the bird. And you have such a funny face. Have you seen my beautiful beak? she added. Now, the bird was very proud of herself because she had, she was a golden bird. So, she was very proud. So, because she was new to the forest, the monkey wanted to help her. But she made fun of the monkey. And she's telling that monkey, what can you do for me? See your funny face? And I have a beautiful beak, she said. Okay, so she was very proud. And that poor monkey wanted to help her. But she was showing off because she was... A golden bird. Do as you like, said the monkey as he swang off into the trees. Now that poor monkey wanted to help the bird but the bird was showing off and say, uh, talking about the monkey's face. So the monkey got very angry and the monkey told the bird do as you wish and that monkey went away. Some time later, the golden bird heard a hissing noise in the grass and saw a snake. Now, after the monkey went away, the golden bird heard a hissing noise in the grass. Means now, after the monkey went away, the golden bird saw a snake. Well, Hello, hissed the snake. Who are you? I'm the golden bird, replied the bird. Come, let me show you the forest, said the snake. Now the snake came close to the golden bird and asked the golden bird, Who are you? And she said, I'm the golden bird. So she, the snake said, Come, let me show you the forest. No, said the bird. What can a snake teach me? And you have a hazing voice. Do you know I sing beautifully? Very well, hissed the snake and he slittered away. So when the snake went to her and said, Come, I'll show you the forest. She said, What can a snake Show me. I am so beautiful and I sing so beautifully. So now the animals are coming to help her but she is acting very proud. Now they are also getting angry. So as she told the snake that I sing so beautifully, that snake went away. Just then something moved in the tree in front of the bird. She looked up and saw a chameleon. He, he was the same color as the tree trunk. So then suddenly she saw something moving. She looked, she saw that it was a chameleon. Okay? And the chameleon was the same color as the tree trunk. You must be the golden bird. When I'm in danger, I do something wonderful. Let me show you, said the chameleon. Now, the chameleon told the bird that you must be the golden bird. And when I'm in danger, I do something wonderful. Okay, so let me show you. No thanks, replied the bird. What can a lizard like you teach me? Don't you wish you had golden feather like me? Now when the chameleon came to help the bird, the bird is showing off. She's saying, no thanks, I don't want your help and you are a lizard. What can you teach me? So then she started telling the um, chameleon that see, don't you think you should have had golden feathers like me? Well, I tried to help you muttered the chameleon and darted away. Now the 
Jamilian told the bird, I just wanted to help you, but you're making fun of me, so I am going.